Okay, um, so today, um, the practice that I want you guys to do, the independent practice to um, continue practicing the di um, distributive and property with combining like terms is uh, this independent practice. And my screen looks a little different than a student's screen, but you've done your warm up, you've watched the lesson videos, and now you're going to do this. So when you click on this, you'll see a little um, link to Google Slides. This is like the interactive notebook. Everybody has their own Google Slide document. Um, yeah, everybody does have their own copy, so you won't all be in the same document. And unlike the interactive notebook, remember the interactive notebook, I'm like, don't turn it in because then it turns into a read only copy and we're still using it like for the next couple of weeks until we've done all the chapters. This one you will turn in when you're done uh, because you're not going to be going back to it tomorrow or the next day. So if you're done, done with it, it gets turned in. If it's something we're going to need to go back to in the future, I will say, don't turn it in. But this is when you'll turn it. So when you open it up, everyone's going to get a copy like this. Here it comes. And you're practicing both things that we've talked about in the last week, the distributive property and combining like terms. So um, it's a little um, um, different, but I, I know you guys can do this. Okay. So over here on the left are where you can go back and forth to each slide, just like in the interactive notebook. So you should be pretty familiar with that. Um, come on, my computer's going really slow. So it tells you to simplify the expression below by first using the distributive property, because you can see you've got a, um, a factor outside of uh, an expression that's inside some parentheses. So the first thing we need to do is distribute this six to each part of this expression. You can distribute it to the three Y and distribute it to the four. So we'll, that will go right here. And then the second thing, once you've used the distributive property, take the terms that you have now and combine the like terms and come up with a final answer. Now you have two options. You can, you have all of these little red um, numbers down here and symbols and operations that you can use, um, or you can just add a text box. So I'm gonna do one of each example so you can decide what you wanna do. So the first thing I wanna do is six times three Y. So if I had three Y's and I multiply that six times, I would have 18 Y's. So you, when you click on the red one, because I want a one, notice it goes from an arrow to like arrows that expand, arrows that expand. But I want to see this little cross. I want to keep it as like a little cross because that's a moving tool. So I'm just going to move it up here. It helps you line it up. That's what all those extra lines are. And I need an eight. And notice that the one doesn't go away. You have like multiple copies of it. You can use as many as you need. So don't worry about that. Um, and then I'm going to drag an eight over here. It's okay. Ooh, that's spacing a little too close. So you got to make sure you get the cross to scooch it over. Okay, that's a little too squishy, but that's okay. All right, then I'm going to grab my Y, put it over here. This time I'll give it a little more space. That looks terrible. Okay, let's scoot the Y over just a little bit more. Okay, <laughs> that's really squishy. Okay, you guys can do better than me. 18y plus, I did better when I was practicing before the video, plus, um, okay, so that's the start. Six times three is 18, so uh, it's 18y, because I do have a variable here. Then I want to do six times four, which is 24, so I click down here, add a two, and you can actually go pretty fast, doesn't have to be perfect. Four, okay, and then I still need my, um, okay, so I've, I've done the distributive property, but there's still this part of the expression I need to add on. So that's a plus and a two. Again, make sure you have the little cross tool going. Okay, be really careful. Okay, so all I've done first is that it used, simply use, simplify by using the distributive property. That's what I did in this step. Now this step, simplify even further, I can combine like terms. Remember, like terms have the same variable to the same power. These don't have any variables. They're just numbers. I can do 24 plus two. A lot of you on Tuesday, and I know it was new and it was challenging, um, and you were just leaving numbers like, you know, four plus three in your answer. And I was like, you can add four plus three. So don't ever leave two just numbers by themselves. They're, you can just add them or subtract them. So let me just show you if you want to, if you don't want to click and drag the red numbers, you can come over here, see where this little box is and a T that's a text box. If I hover over everything, it tells me what it is. I think you guys are starting to figure that out. But if I want to just do a text box and click over here, uh, I'm sorry, click on the text box and then you'll have this little plus now and then I can draw a text box here. 
Okay. And then it immediately see the cursors in there. I could type. So now I could just type 18 Y plus uh, 24 and two is 26 and I would be done. So if you want to, you can just for each one, just insert a text box, type in what you need, insert a text box, type in what you need, and then go to the next slide. So now I'm going to come over here. To the, this one is done because it's as simplified as I can make it. And I click to the next slide. And it's going a little slow. And again, first I'm going to do 11 times 2C, which would be 22C, plus 11 times 3, which is 33, and put the 3 plus out front. I can just add a text box if I want and just type that in if it goes a little faster for you three plus 22 c plus three and be done okay and then i'm not completely done because i still have to add a text box here make a little box and i can combine three and 33. i'm going to go ahead and just leave the 22 first 22 c plus uh, 36. Or you can do it like that if you want. It's totally up to you. The only time you may need to use the red numbers, let's see if I can find one. Um, let's see. Sorry, this is moving really slow. Hope it doesn't do that for you tomorrow. Oh, okay, here's one. When you get to slide nine, why do you think you might need to use the red numbers for this one? Um, see the exponent to the second power that's really hard to type if you know how to do that that's great but it, it's pretty it gets complicated to add to type exponents so this one i might want to add because this right here is a little exponent so if i was going to do three and notice this is on the the back end of the expression but i'm still going to distribute this three to each part of this expression three times x and i'll go ahead and do this one so you can see it would be three x right because I did three times the X, okay, plus, and oh, it's really spaced out. Oh, it's terrible. And I'm gonna try and get this X a little bit closer so it doesn't look like a multiplication sign. Okay, three X plus three times X squared is gonna be three X squared. So I'm gonna put a three here, an X here, and then this is a little exponent. So you can put that up high and make it an exponent. So you might need to use the red numbers for this one. And then three times four is 12. So that would be 12. Oops, I forgot the plus sign. I'll go back and add it. 12 X. And let's go back and add the plus sign. That looks terrible, but you get the hang of it. So now what, what the last thing I would need to do is combine my like terms. I only have one um, term that has the um, X as a variable with two as the exponent, but I do have two other terms, three X and 12 X that both have the variable X to one exponent. So I can combine it and this answer would be 15 X plus three X squared or three X squared plus 15 X. Again, the order doesn't matter because of the commutative property. So that's how you're gonna do it. And then when you're done, you will just, um, click on it to close it. No, you won't. <laughs> I lied. Um, when you're done, well, I don't have the student side of it, but when you're done, you'll be able to go back to the assignment and click turn it in. Um, I don't have the turn it in because I'm looking at it from the teacher side, but, um, yeah, so that's how you use this. Um, there's, I think 12 practice problems, 13. Okay, so hopefully after the lesson video today, these should be super easy. I'm, I really do think it'd be easier if you just type in your answers, except for the ones with the exponents, and there's only a couple of those. So good luck. Let me know what you think and how you do, and I will probably just send uh, a response back to you guys at the end of the day after I look at your work, and I can let you know if you guys are getting it better. All right, see ya. Have a great day.